Okay, we are moving on to session three for lesson five. Now, for this one, uh, just a heads up, we're going to skip past a few of the techniques that they use for this lesson. I felt that they were just uh, more confusing than helpful. So we'll do the warm up and then we'll go to the practice questions. Um, the warm up here is estimate um, 273 divided by 13. Let's just go ahead and try to solve this instead. Again, at this point, estimation's helpful, but uh, we just want to do it like this. So the best way to set up a problem when it's like this is to read it from left to right. So it's 273 divided by 13. So that means this first number is going to go in what we call the house. And then that's divided by the number 13. So our dividend's 273, our divisor's 13. Um, so here's some techniques that we're going to be using over the next couple days. Now, 13, we know, does not go into 2, so we just put an X right over that where the quotient will go. So uh, we want to find 13 going into 27. And this is a point where we kind of use um, guess and check, and we're going to try 2. And that conveniently works out to be 26. And then we subtract, and we bring down, you always put an arrow to keep everything lined up nice and straight. And 13 goes into 13 once. So our answer is 21. So um, again, just to review our quotient is 21. Our divisor is 13, and our dividend is 273. To check that, we multiply these two numbers, multiply our quotient times our divisor. And if we do everything right, we will have our a number that's just the same as the dividend, so 372. And this checks out, 273. It's supposed to be a check. OK. All right, open up your textbook to page 87. You'll see the school bus. All right, for this one, again, I just want to review uh, the different parts of the problem. Um, factory produces 768 buses and puts them in 24 buildings. Each building has the same number of buses. How many buses are in each building? Estimate and then solve. Why don't we just go ahead and solve this one? So um, let's set up the problem. We have, um, we have 768 buses divided between 24 buildings. So we would set the problem up like this. And again, we talked about this, uh, this being the dividend, the 768, 24 being the divisor, and our answer will be the quotient. So let's set this up. Um, here's where I want to focus on something that now, all right, so we got a 24. We know 24 does not go into 7, so we can just put an X over that. And we know 24 is going to have to go into 76. So using guess and check, you've got to take that divisor and multiply it by a number to see what's going to go right above there. So let's try 3. That gives us 72, so that gave us a number that didn't go over 76. Uh, and, it's and it's pretty close. So let's put a three here. And then we'll put that 72 right there. Now, this first number when we're doing our, in our quotient, this is, this is important that we're as close as possible because for instance, if we put a two, if we did 24 times two, and we decided to put 48 in here instead. Let's pretend that's a two. Um, that would have given us um, down here 288, which is, would have been uh, too big for our 24 to go into. So again, it's really important to get that first number done. All right, so 72, bring down our eight. You know, 24 times two, like we did right over here, 
gives us that 48. So 48. So we have 32 uh, buses per building. 32 buses. And let's check our answer. We gotta multiply these. Let's do 32 times 24. Eight, six, seven, sixty-eight matches our dividend, so we're good to go. Okay, uh, so we skipped all the way to question seven, which is on page ninety. Okay, so let's do this one in the problem on the previous page: seven hundred sixty-eight divided by twenty-four. You estimated and used an area model. Well, no, we didn't on the quotient. Um, here's the part that we want to focus on. Describe how I can use multiplication to check that you have the correct quotient. Or basically, um, how to check your answers. And as we've discussed already today, You've got to take your your answer, which was 32 buses, and you've got to multiply it by 24, which is our divisor. And we got 768, which checks out. That's all they're asking for number seven is how to check your answers. Uh, number eight. So we've got this table here to use for estimation. We're not gonna use the table. Uh, we're just gonna solve it. So Dante has four to 68 cards in his sports card collection. He buys cards in packages of 12. Complete the table and give the estimate for how many packages of cards Dante has bought. So this is four to 68 cards divided by 12. And let's just set that up. Again, reading it from left to right, we've got 468 divided by 12. So 12 doesn't go into four, but 12 will go into 46. Let's try it. Um, if we do by four, this gives us 48, so that's too big. And 12 times three is 36. So that's the way to go with that one. Bring down your eight. So 12 goes into 108. Let's try nine, because I know nine times two is 18. And nine times one is nine, plus one is 108. Okay. And there we go, the answer is 39. Um, he had to buy 39 packs of cards to get the 468 cards. And what we'll do is we'll use the space for number nine since it's related to the same problem just to check our answer. Let's run a check. I know that this lesson is pretty much not anything like how the book intended, but I felt that what we're going over is just getting to the point and uh, learning how to do this stuff the right way. And so we want, we want to hopefully 39 times 12 matches is 468. So let's see what we get. Eight. Well, look at that, that checks out 468. And so your homework today is D11, estimate quotients with two-digit divisors. Um, as with most of these IXL, you probably will need to solve a few on a piece of paper, so have one handy, or use your actual workbook to write these things down so you keep everything in the same place. You go to 70% for full credit, 80 and 100 for extra credit for class craft.